Good morning, DJs. How are you doing this fantastic Tuesday? Welcome to Altcoin Drift. And today, guys, we are going into Bitcoin price and, as always, for some fresh on chain alpha and some fresh tokens to talk a little bit about opportunities and what is going on in the market, guys. Starting off with the Bitcoin price, looking on the four hour chart, Bitcoin is not doing that much currently, sitting above 52k. We are respecting the trend line from the previous lows and the levels are clear i would be looking for a bounce since uh, from 50k or in the worst case from 48 400 if we go below 48 400 we will stop probably somewhere here at 47 down there we have some level here at 45 and i don't expect it to go that bloody but 42 900 would be the level of max pain max pain in the short term at least but the trend is bullish we are looking pretty good so i remain bullish as long as the money line is bullish and as you can see money line is bullish on four hour and it's bullish on daily and it's bullish on weekly not to mention the monthly chart which looks incredibly incredibly bullish so that's very important looking on the bitcoin dominance very quickly Bitcoin dominance is chopping here, chop, 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 bouncing back and forth. And I would expect it to go a little bit higher before the halving. That's my number one scenario. Bitcoin will raise, Bitcoin will suck the liquidity from the institutions and then people will realize the profits and basically repeat the scenario of the previous cycle where the Bitcoin dominance was pumping here to up to 72. Then it was dumping before the top for the first redistribution of profits into some smaller altcoins then bam boop again to 72 and from the very top from the peak it was december 2020 the first top of the bull cycle was at in april i think in may and then boop it was dropping dropping very quickly very significantly and then we had the massive massive altcoin run so let's take a look on the altcoins what is currently running what is going on and we have track really nice project origin trail let's take a look on a chart in a second we do see sora as well so we will take a look into sora sora is as you know the new open ai video generation engine and people are getting excited about sora of course this is not an official sora token from open ai don't believe that guys it's similar to grok basically kind of a meme coin based on the idea so starting off with the origin trail and this is trace token so as you can see guys it's getting some accumulation actually it's already pumping it's already pumping currently at 323 million market cap and as you can see here was the accumulation zone now it's already up smashed the previous highs we have higher low so it's looking good on the chart it has definitely bullish momentum there is buy pressure coming in buyers are stepping in and it's looking pretty good for the long term if we can bounce from the previous high mark a higher low from this one that would be really good and that would be nice pos position of strength to buy and jump in if you like this kind of project this kind of supply chain uh, on the blockchain this is really interesting moving on to sora sora is pumping like hell as you can see from the last week it's just a couple of days old yes it was launched on february 15th it's pumping like hell massive amount of buyers massive amount of holders 10k 10,500 holders this is a lot for a couple of days old project and massive buy pressure it's pumping i would not chase this green candle although you can take a reference for grok and as you can see it pumped like hell for, hell for the initial couple of days for the week or so marked smash really high levels then it take a massive hit and then bam another leg up so and now as you can see it's consolidating moving sideways seems like it, it bottomed out now we have higher low and it looks like it also wants to go up taking the hype from the sora as well <laughs> so i would not chase it if you are interested in this one i'm particularly i'm i'm not interested in sora in buying sora token but i would let it smash the highs then have a pullback retracement and see what's happening there they're looking for some sideways move 
or some nice retracement to buy and bounce back. Okay, so this is Grok and Sora. Now, another one I have for you today is Restake Finance and Restake Finance, guys. There was a massive, there is still a massive uh, hype interest in the restaking narrative. So restaking is the new toy. Some people are saying this is a villain in this quiz, but I'm telling you, it's probably something new. There are, of course, extra risks involved. So be careful if you are planning to put significant amount of Ethereum into restaking. I would be very careful with that. But playing for airdrop, playing to explore new DeFi protocol, it's definitely a nice idea. The token itself, this is the risk take DAO token, governance token. It took nice hit right here and now it's quite bloody as you can see by pressure sellers are stepping in liquidity is dropping so definitely now is way better moment than it was on the pump so always be mindful that this scenario is likely to happen that we have some dump some pullback and then it's getting more interesting more interesting for a buy this is this is looking like a buying opportunity maybe it will dump a little bit more but looking for definitely on my radar looking for some sideways action maybe some uh, bottoming pattern and let's see it's only 6.7 million market cap so definitely there is potential in restake finance and guys for today we have buy pressure let's quickly check pandora ondo and liquidity uh, liquidity token lqty LQTY and as well as Robonomics. Wow. Robonomics pumped like hell. 1.4 million by pressure. So alts are definitely moving, coming back, coming back. Not alt season yet. 11 million market cap. Wow. What a pump. What a pump, guys. I was looking on this one. Pumped like hell. Now people are taking profit. Okay. And quick look on the liquidity token also looking good looking good bam bam lower uh, higher low higher low getting some momentum buy pressure is coming buyers are stepping in so it's absolutely getting interesting this is not a governance token this is the token powering the protocol in terms of getting fees from the protocol operations and the protocol this is liquidity protocol so you can put your if ask collateral and borrow LUSD stablecoin, their native stablecoin. And you can stake this token to get the revenue from the fees, your part of revenue. Okay, so this is about it. Quick check. Now, buyers, net experience buyers for today, we have Balance AI, Palm AI, pumped like crazy again, Decentraland, Decart, Decentra Card, Decentra Card, never seen it before, 40 days old. Pumping, liquidity locked, 2.9 million, and it's pumping. Oh yes, everything is pumping. It's not even too bad. Nice chart, nice looking chart. But I have, I know nothing about this project, so just checking out live as we speak. Balance AI. I would not also chase this green candle. I would wait some for some pullback, maybe bounce from the previous high right here and then look for opportunity to buy but i'm currently pretty well positioned in terms of the ai projects not gonna lie okay quick look on bcube bcube is being bought like crazy i think guru what guru is doing is really really impactful he's he's taking this project to another level his level of communication transparency and really involvement in the community this is incredible. I haven't seen anything like that so far in crypto. <laughs> there were very nice projects, but Guru is really taking the game to another level. And in terms of the deep, I would buy the deep. I would buy the deep. And probably there will be some sell pressure because as I was saying recently, there are seed investors, investors looking to sell, looking to cash out a little bit, take some profits already. So marked here some levels that would be interesting for me to buy. 
below 0.5 basically is already a good level but here in the golden pocket it's basically golden buy so below 0.38 Okay, so BCube update. I'm holding BCube for the long term, not gonna sell it anytime soon. They have massive announcements, massive marketing coming, so definitely looking good, looking forward to that. And guys, the last thing for today in terms of the airdrops, if you are hunting airdrops, I think Linea should be the one to get some interest in. Why? This is the MetaMask, MetaMask company token. So, consensus. As you can see here, committed to Ethereum, Linea is building, Linea is developing, and as you can see, there are some incentives to be involved in, in Linea, and I think I will be doing those tasks, those journey, and just use it as a DeFi, normal DeFi user. Flip here and there, get involved in some protocols, you know, be yourself on chain, be yourself, do the stuff that you would usually do, do not follow those uh, farming guys because, you know, the devs now are smarter than they used to be, it's not so easy to get airdrops and if they see some common patterns being repeated all over again, they might not drop so much coins or reduce the airdrop basically for those users if they see any civil, civil behaviors. So that would be it, Linea, and that's it for today's episode. Guys, stay profitable, stay safe and see you very, very soon. Cheers.